All right, Jason Rona here. We're in the J Concepts garage. Uh, we uh, did something kind of new and unique for us here. We uh, offered up on the J Concepts Facebook page and some other social media that we're going to be doing some updates here this week. Uh, we took some questions from online. We talked about uh, some new products that we're going to show off, and uh, we wanted to highlight a few race results uh, that we've had over the weekend. You know, some things that may or may not. Um, have uh, taken the uh, national media by storm, but stuff that nonetheless is important to us. Uh, first of all, kind of talking about some of the events that had happened. Uh, over at um, Speed RC in uh, North Carolina, they had a brand new uh, one eight scale track that they just opened up. They had a grand opening race, and uh, J Concepts and uh, Mugen driver Cole Ogden uh, took the win out there, uh, did a great job in the one eight scale Nitro Buggy class. He was racing against Jared Tebow, and uh, Barry Pettit, great competition out there. I believe Jared TQ'd, but um, you know, I'm sure the guys are having a good time on the new track and uh, really enjoying uh, being around the, the Speed RC crew there uh, between Scott and TJ and the rest of the guys that, that uh, work with that outfit. Uh, Cole commented that he can't wait to go back, and I've heard some people really excited about that event. So uh, Cole's out there running the uh, green compound from J Concepts and the little chasers tire. Uh, people talk to us about those two new tires all the time, which is the, uh, the Triple Ds and the uh, little chasers. And uh, Cole um, uh, picked the little chaser tire out there that worked really well for him. So moving on to the uh, JBRL, they had their round two event, which was at SDRC in San Diego there. And uh, Stephen Hartson, he's been running the, uh, the complete JBRL this year in the electric side. Uh, he took the TQN win in the two-wheel mod class. And uh, Frank Root uh, took the TQ and the win in the four-wheel modified class, which, uh, you know, Frank is kind of in and out. Uh, he's an uh, excellent driver, super quick, uh, obviously showing that by taking the win in four-wheel drive. And I believe he commented that the car was so good uh, that he couldn't help but, uh, but win in it. But uh, as usual, the gold... Um, Dirt Webs is uh, one of the best tires out there on the uh, west coast on the uh, clay indoor tracks and uh, obviously there at SDRC they're working extremely well with Steven getting the win, uh, Brent Telke in second and then in the four wheel drive class obviously as we said Frank tearing it up with his uh, TLR 22.4. So uh, the great guys uh, doing a good job out there for us uh, on the west coast and uh, uh, really showing uh, kind of what we're all about there on the JBRL. Moving on to a local event here for us, the Force Series, uh, which is something that Lance uh, McDonald here locally has been uh, pushing and promoting uh, very well. And I believe they attracted about just under 200 entries uh, for the first round for this year. And it was out there at Dean's RC Complex. Uh, they had a good event, new track. Um, Lance got it all painted up. It looked really pretty in all the photos. Uh, J.R. Mitch and uh, Walter Cruz went out there to help uh, represent us along with our other drivers. Uh, we had our van and our tent set up out there. And uh, J.R. I believe TQ'd all three classes, the 1.8 scale Nitro, 1.8 scale E-Buggy, and 1.8 scale Truck. Uh, he took the win in E-Buggy and, and uh, the Truck class. In Buggy he had a couple flame out issues which uh, kind of cost him a couple laps. I believe he still recovered to finish third. Uh, Jimbo Cadera won the 40 plus 1.8 scale buggy class and John Bernard uh, held it down for us in the 1.8 scale e truggy and the short course class. So um, John obviously doing a good job with those techno vehicles. He's always super animated online talking about how great the technos are and he uh, comes out to the force races and uh, always shows what they're capable of. And uh, of course you got JR who's um, kind of one of the kings of the Florida racing scene and uh, kind of showing that by winning two out of three. And, uh, you know, I'm sure he's disappointed he didn't get the clean sweep, but there's always the next one. Uh, but uh, he's doing a great job out there for us. Uh, John Pyant, um, team manager here with J Concepts, made the trip all the way up to Wisconsin, attended their buggy champs, and uh, had a great weekend there. Uh, Cole Tollard won the four-wheel modified class. Chad Dew, uh, again, took the two-wheel modified class. So two associated guys, uh, one with the B44.3, the other with the B5M. Uh, doing a great job for us. We're on the gold bar, not barcodes, but the Dirt Webs tires. Uh, I was a great tire there. Uh, about two years ago, they made the switch over to gold compound from blue, I believe they were running previously. And uh, so far, I think they've never, they haven't looked back. Uh, the golds have been, uh, been great up there at uh, trackside. And uh, talking to uh, Yuna Hatanen, uh, we talked to him at the Reedy race quite a bit. Uh, he's been doing a lot of racing back home in Finland. Um, I was talking to him over the weekend. He made a uh, 
commented that we sent him some carpet tires to do some testing. Um, and he's uh, reported a lot of good results in his testing with them. Uh, uh, when they have their finished series, it is a control rear tire. They use a, a control rear, but the two-wheel drive front is open. So he won um, the two, uh, Finnish National Dare event with our uh, carpet front tire. It's called the Swagger. So they're not released yet. We've been doing a lot of testing, a lot of driving with these tires uh, leading up to our release, which is coming shortly. Uh, we've been testing a lot of compounds there. And I think we've arrived at something front and rear that's uh, going to work really well for everyone. You know, recently we had an, had an event um, up in Tennessee. It was the uh, event that J.R. Mitch went uh, to for us. We also had Blake Boggs up there and uh, running the carpet tires and, and having a, a lot of good results. There's some great videos J.R. put up of him practicing before and after the race. Um, so look him up on Facebook, J.R. Mitch, and uh, kind of scroll down, check out his videos that he posted. And I believe we put one or two on our J Concepts site as well. Uh, really uh, phenomenal to watch uh, when you kind of just let a guy loose on a carpet track and uh, really no limits and no rules in practice and it's pretty funny to see what he could do. Um, Region 3 championships uh, just happened. It was up in Georgia at Hot Shots uh, Raceway. Uh, we had a few guys, AJ Marasco went up there along with a lot of Trinity uh, guys in the Trinity van, Alan White, uh, Kevin Abbott, a lot of the crew there went up guys that normally run our Super Cup uh, so successfully. They went up there, ran a super uh, good event. I know they did some things with the track. They weren't really 100% sure um, how the, the treatment was holding up with the track. They might have put some carpet or some Astro down. I think I saw some photos. Uh, but anyway, it sounds like they finished off the event. Uh, Max Fleur, our driver, um, runs the TLR vehicles. Uh, he went up there and he did a lot of work and uh, took home, I believe, all three classes that he raced in, and, and AJ did really well in his stock classes, stock buggy, stock truck. Uh, a lot of guys, uh, the Molinas were up there, uh, Robert doing a great job. So uh, really appreciate those guys uh, posting online, letting us know how the racing is doing and how the racing is going. And, uh, you know, so kind of moving on uh, as far as our events calendar is concerned. Uh, we've been attending a lot of things recently. Most recently for me was the Psycho Nitro Blast. Uh, where Mayfield uh, took care of the uh, 1 8 scale Nitro Buggy class and the E-Buggy class, uh, took second in Truggy, had a great event there. It was me, John, JR again. We were there um, representing and uh, had a lot of good drivers there. Really proud of their accomplishments. So coming up, uh, we got the Roar Nationals warm-up. That's in Hutto, Texas. Um, a track I, I loved visiting a couple years ago when we had the Roar Nationals there. Uh, this year, uh, they have the Roar Nats once again. Uh, this time, they put a roof over the whole track, and um, we don't really know what tires to run there yet. So we're, we're kind of looking forward to going to the warm-up, kind of know how things shake down uh, for the Nats uh, coming up in June. So uh, look for that uh, to be coming up really soon. We got uh, an event I'm going to at 702 Raceway. They have an indoor uh, carpet race there on the off-road track. And I'm looking forward to running that, getting my B5M out there, uh, running our uh, carpet tires, and uh, just kind of want to have some fun and represent J Concepts and Associated out there uh, at 702. Uh, while we're there, we're going to be attending the Hobby Show, which is uh, uh, takes place in Vegas every year at the Orleans. So if you're a dealer and local, come on by the uh, Hobby Show at the Orleans. And then uh, after that, we're going to go right out to uh, RC Tracks of Las Vegas and do the world warm-up, which uh, a lot of things have kind of changed since the Silver State race. Uh, we had so much success there uh, between Mayfield and Spencer Rivkin. Um, they have decided to change conditions back to what they ran a year ago, um, which is a, a watered condition, uh, not uh, as dry or treated as they did for Silver State this year. Uh, so we're uh, kind of looking forward to going back out there and, and uh, seeing how we stack up. I know we did very well there about a year ago um, at the Silver State, and uh, kind of looking forward to seeing what the track has for us uh, with the water condition and uh, kind of getting out there, trying our selection, the Triple Ds, the little chasers, as we talked about earlier. And uh, so that'll all happen, you know, a span of about seven to 10 days, 702 Raceway, Hobby Show, World's Warm Up. Uh, we'll be bringing a lot of that action to you on the Facebook page and, uh, you know, videos and uh, photos showing what's going on. 
Um, after that, we got the Spring Indoor Nationals, which is the J Concepts Indoor National Series that's taking place at Tacoma RC Raceway, uh, Scott Brown's place. Uh, we released a promotion uh, recently on that event. Looking forward to getting Spencer and Brent and the crew and the local guys back up there uh, doing battle. And then after that, we're looking forward to our summer tour. Uh, J Concepts every year in between our Super Cup sessions. We have a summer tour. Uh, usually we go to two different locations that we typically don't go to in the state of Florida. And uh, look for a, a schedule to come out on that uh, very soon. And uh, that's kind of our events and news and uh, updates as far as the racing uh, events are concerned. And uh, stay tuned for another video here shortly in our question and answer Q&A session coming up.